Hello friends, welcome to Puneet's Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. So guys, I am yet again here with another video and this time another transit, another interesting transit of the slowest planet on the solar system, Saturn. Saturn is going retrograde on 30th of April 2019. This transit is again very special because right now Jupiter is with Saturn. Jupiter will go retrograde on 10th of April. Jupiter will stay retrograde for about 120 days. Saturn will stay retrograde till September. What is the significance of this uh, retrogression of Saturn? I will explain this. Stay tuned till the end of the video and you will get to know more about this Saturn retrogression and the effect it will have on your life. So before going into that, do not forget to hit the like, like and subscribe button because it is, the, it is the subscription that keeps you and me connected. So what is Saturn retrograde here? Saturn is going retrograde on 30th of November and Saturn is in Sagittarius. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is already retrograde by the time Saturn begins its phase of retrogression in Sagittarius. Now this means what? The planet who is retrograde is, is finding his dispositor, that means the Zod Lord of the Zodiac in which planet is situated at that time, also goes retrograde. A planet goes retrograde, stands on the platform of B, B also goes retrograde. Now, how do I uh, interpret this? How, how can you physically interpret this? Imagine there is a big circular disk who is rotating in the clockwise direction. Now, when the circular disk is rotating in the clockwise direction, it will rotate with a certain angular speed. Uh, there was a planet on top of that disk. The planet is also rotating in the same direction. Now, when both the planet and the house lord both reverses the direction, this initiates immense amount of karmic unblocks. Because of the retrogression of not only the planet but also the dispositor, the retrogression in intensity magnifies significantly just as you will feel your speed in the circle increase because the platform in which you are revolving also starts revolving along with you. So if I place a ball on the revolving platform, the ball will revolve. If the ball is stationary, the speed of the ball will be equal to the platform. But as soon as the ball also starts moving in the same direction then there is an addition there is a vector addition the algebraic addition of the speed of the two particles two planets and because of this the entire celestial plane is facing an intense heat intense intensity is very high saturn the planet of karma and jupiter the planet of dharm both the intensity is very high so this marks the separation this marks the end of any negativity that is within you so these planets are giving you that potential that opportunity saturn is trying to reconnect with your past karma jupiter is trying to give you knowledge of what you did in the past and he is giving you an opportunity to correct that what you have to do is you have to collect that opportunity grab that opportunity and you have to Put it into effect because Saturn is all about karma. So Jupiter is saying, I am already retrograde. I have already seen what is happening behind. Now I am I have already collected the data from Sagittarius. Let me go back to Scorpio and execute it. Saturn also turns its face backwards and starts facing Scorpio virtually, not really. Sagittarius is completely churned like anything. Right now, both the planets are direct, suddenly both are retrograde. It is a huge churning of the natural ninth house 
and if the natural ninth house is being churned like anything this is a phase of samudra manthan and therefore each one of us will have to undergo this churning phase of our life where either we can bring out the amrit or we can bring out the wish either we can bring out the good or or we can bring out the bad because both of them will come out from within us it's a release time you are releasing your positive and the negative vibrations both you have to understand which one you have to side with i hope you will side with the positive side positive vibrations and this is the time where problems also can increase for a very brief brief uh, period of uh, time say for certain weeks depending upon your own horoscope your own dasha mahadasha and everything the problems may increase but why is the problem increasing so you can address them so you have to address those problems you have to typically focus your attention towards the pain areas of life and start acting on that yes it it is going to be a difficult time so do not take any uh, you know major decision uh, at this point of time unless it is happening automatically because sometimes what happens that when saturn and jupiter are totally on you especially you sagittarians on which uh, the entire planetary surface is going retrograde you have to take care a bit yes it will be a good time for you because if you have done good it will bring out the best of you but it can also bring out a bad side of you just to let you know what was wrong within you and this is also a time for self correction dharmic establishment what is dharma dharma means the path of righteousness what you have to do which is right where you are wrong and you have to quit that that information see jupiter is knowledge it is wisdom but saturn is the manifestation of that wisdom into karma without karma nobody can do anything it's not possible to survive or exist in the matrix of this world matrix of this universe without executing any sort of karma so understand the power of this saturn and jupiter conjunction if the problems are increasing do not panic focus understand find the root cause of the issues because now is the time when you have to go to the root cause because from moola nakshatra jupiter is going back to the jeshtha nakshatra and saturn is turning its its face backward right when he was about to be with ketu the ketu saturn conjunction is very close now surprisingly saturn and ketu conjunction is going head on head for approximately 6 months because of these next 6 months saturn and ketu are together occult energies will be at its peak so you will feel this urge of doing something good then do it you will feel the urge of quitting things quit but find an alternative find a better alternative this is the time when you should feel free to act but you have to understand whether your actions are positive or it is out of rahu's effect rahu is in gemini so on the opposite side of uh, saturn rahu is placed very strongly in gemini communication so you have to also be very careful while you are communicating with the public while you are communicating saturn and ketu may give some physical damage maybe your property can get damaged or or i'm not i'm not trying to scare you but you have to be careful at this time because anything which is wrong will be taken away anything which is good will be established so overall if you see if something is wrong is if something wrong is happening with you what you have to do is you have to actually assess that situation you have to see whether what is whatever is happening with you is happening without reason or was it your own fault is it something that has come from the past to haunt you don't worry what you have to do is simply ask saturn to help you ask jupiter to help you they are going retrograde just to help you it's like they are going back to the victim area and bring the survivors out of the problem so definitely if you have done the good karma saturn and jupiter and ketu will pull you out from the problem just pray to saturn and do the right karma because whatever you do now will be recorded forever so guys that was my very quick analysis on saturn retrograde on happening on 30th of uh, april this uh, this year so do like and subscribe my channel and do hit the bell icon so that you and me can stay connected and just one quick update me vaith and trina we three astrologers have have taken a joint initiative to launch an astrology magazine i think you must have watched my previous video video related to the magazine has already been shared 
The link is in the description below and you can download the magazine. It's free for you. Just that we wanted to give you the best of astrology. So guys, do connect with us. Stay connected. Give us more topics so that we can bring it in the magazine and the video for your own benefit. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching Police Astrology, your one-stop Astro Channel.